Hello everyone. I am getting on today to make some peach muffins. And you just need four really ripe peaches because you want it to have that taste. You don't really taste it and you peel them. I don't cook them at all. Just peel it. You're going to need two cups of flour, one whole stick of softened unsalted butter. Unsalted. Um, it's going to have three-fourths cups of brown sugar and three cups of regular sugar and I use cane sugar organic uh, we have two cups of flour all-purpose you add baking soda and baking powder and I just sprinkle in a little bit you don't need a whole lot um, and a splash of vanilla and I will put all that in the description so you have they're very good they're very tasty um, again you peel the peach just like this that's why you want them really really ripe it won't come off otherwise and I do it over the bowl and hi everybody I, I'm sorry I haven't been on in a while I just been really busy and trying to stay focused and doing what I need to do and I went on vacation which I need to make the video of the, for the of the vacation that I went on it was super nice might work on that today we'll see grandbaby's here say hi Zayden you gonna wave hi hi he says no no don't eat the butter mm. But I'm going to pause this right now until I get this done so you don't have to just sit in there and watch. I'll be right back. Okay, I got all the peaches pitted and skinned, de-skinned. Now I'm going to add in two cups of flour. Okay, you want to add two cups of leveled flour, meaning not a heaping. So just two cups. I'm going to put these in muffin pans. There's another one. I'm going to need three fourths cups of sugar. And I use organic sugar. You can use the regular sugar, but this family uses organic. And again, you want it leveled. There's one. There's two. There's three. And then now you're going to use a one or three fourths cups of brown sugar, and you want to make it pat. Just really get it in there. And you want it leveled. I know it sounds like a lot, and I've tried to, uh, like, decrease the sugar. It doesn't taste right, so don't decrease it. I'm sorry, but it does not taste right if you decrease it. There's two. Last one is three. And again, you want them packed. Then you now you need baking powder. And it should be. What is this? I have it always written. One fourth. You just want a little, not a whole lot. And I just take it and I sprinkle it over because I want it to go all over. And then this, you want, what is it? Half? I do the same with the baking soda. It's not a whole lot. You're just sprinkling it over there. 
Okay, now I don't use the egg yolk. I only use the whites, but you can, I've just noticed it makes the muffins really moist. I don't like a dry cake, so I'll be right back. I'll show you. Okay, now I put the eggs in here, like I said, but I only use the whites. I don't use the yolk. Uh oh. Well, it's really busted this time, so I'm not going to use this one. Okay. Because, like I said, I accidentally busted it, so I'm not going to use it. I'm just going to set it aside. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. Sorry. But yeah, you don't want to add the yolks. The yolks, I learned this in home ec when I was in school, right, or junior high. If you want a nice moist cake or bread or, and I really like it that way, don't put in the yolks. Um, and you just toss the yolk back and forth and I'm going to eat the yolk. Okay. I haven't had my egg today, but um, you need two whites, and then you're going to add a splash of the, um, what's my call it in? The vanilla. Okay. Oops. I'll put it there because I'll use it for something. Okay, so now you have two whites, two egg whites vanilla like I said you just I like a lot of vanilla you can do however much you want but I do a heaping splash that's what I do okay and I use my hands to mix everything because you want to put your love in your food and I think that's what a lot of people always use these machines and it just doesn't taste right so and I get always great reviews on my stuff because I let my co-workers at work use it. So I'll be right back and it's going to be really messy so I won't want to show all that. So I'll be right back. Okay, so this is what it looks like. It's kind of like in a cake mix. It's not doughy like bread. So if you don't like it this way, you may not like my cake because I don't like a dry cake. Bread. But this is also going as a muffin. So just so you know, it's what you see. I can't remember if I said to make sure the butter is softened because that it's room temperature. I got it out the night before. I'm also going to do banana bread with the same thing. You can also use it for zucchini, whatever favorite bread you like. But yeah, you can that it's you can put whatever fruit you want into it. Um, so. Just wanted to let you know that the oven goes on 350 and you cook it for 45 to 50 minutes. Just pay attention. You want it real brown on top. Um, so I will be right back. I'm doing muffins, like I said. I'll spray it with my pan. Which I usually use Crisco grease, but I don't have any. So, pan it in. And you just fill it up and then bake it. So, one moment. This is them in the thing. You just want it like it's leveled. Now you're going to put them in the oven on the second shelf. Remember, you can do that with banana bread. You can do that with zucchini bread. You, you like blueberries, whatever, cranberries. Uh, and I don't put nuts on mine because I just, I don't know. I, I like the actual fruit flavor. But you can put pecans on there, walnuts on there, whatever little nuts you like. But I don't do that. Um. Just make sure you take the pits out of the, you know, the peaches. Cut all of them out. But um, enjoy. Make, be creative and have fun with it. But I really love it. And I'm going to be making banana bread. But my butter isn't soft enough. I forgot. And only put one stick of butter out. So I have to wait until the other one is the fall. But you have a wonderful day. And I hope you enjoy the recipe. And if you want, leave a comment on how, what you did and if you really liked the recipe. Because like I said, you don't have to use peaches. You don't have to use bananas. You can use zucchini. You can use pineapple. You can use cranberries. You could use apples if you wanted. But just make sure you peel them. And I would think with the apples, I would bake them in brown sugar and cinnamon. Uh, that way you can get softened. Because you do kind of want it soft. That's what makes the uh, it better. So... 
I'm just giving you ideas though, but you could do whatever you wanted. I love y'all. I'll put the, the ending of it, what it looks like, so you know. And So I'll be back. Love you. Bye. So I wanted to jump back on here. When you do bananas, you want them really, really ripe. Like the skin is black. And when that happens and I'm not ready to cook them, I just stick them in a baggie and put them in the freezer. And you want to add all that yummy stuff in there because it will make your bread taste really, really good. And um, I'm doing two bags, so it's like four bananas. So uh, I'm not going to start now because they're still cold. And my butter is still not room temperature. But I just wanted to hop on and tell you that. That's really, you to get that really good banana flavor, you want that dark black banana because you get all that sugar. But you still add three-fourths cups of sugar and then three-fourths cups of brown sugar. Like I said, I have tried to cut that off and it tastes horrible. And I was very disappointed I threw that thing away. Um, but I was just hopping on to say that. And some people like... The, the crust around the edges will be crunchy. So if you just leave it, um, when it's finished cooking, leave the uh, oven door open a little bit and just let it cool off in there so those this, this the sides of the crust get crunchy. A lot of people like it. I'll be back. Okay, they are done. So I'm going to show you what they look like. Maybe. Drop them. That's what they look like. You can check them to make sure there's no, you just stick a piece of thing in there. Don't want any of the batter to be on there. They're done. And that's it, guys. It's not absolutely amazing. Sorry I can't share one with you, but have a good evening. Thank you all for following me. Have a good day.